Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Happy Memorial Day weekend, and I don't know about you, but we've been paying attention to what's going on. Cons has really kind of slowed down as so we're getting ready to announce the winners. But the biggest news today is the president. And no, it's not that the president said anything. The news is the press's coverage of the president and their lack of vetting when he was running for president. Wow, is that news to us? Well, it seems they didn't quite vet the president like the president vetted Sarah Palin on the posting side. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And new Obama books all blowing the whistle on our press that did not do their homework. Well, that's what they're all talking about. The fact is, they said Obama would have never made an elected office anywhere if any of this information. He was a drug user. He had pushed women mm -hmm. around. He not only was a drug user, he instigated drugs with, uh, used with other people. He, had a, he ran a, a drug-oriented gang. He created ways to use drugs for people. And basically, if you keep adding things up sooner or later, you're going to find the President of the United States was a dealer. Oh, that would be they, The one person <laughs> said that any other person, period, they said that any other black politician would have never been allowed to get as far as he was because they, his own community would have made certain he didn't get there because they said uh, that, but they, they said the real embarrassment is the American press who did not do their job. And the only person, basically, the Sean Hannity's and the, um, was it the Sean Hannity's, the Glenn Beck's, and, and the Rush Limbaugh's are all dancing on the top of the table saying, we all told you because the information was always there. I know. Here's the amazing part is if the information was always there, the press really screwed but up. But never any hiding. Okay, here's the one thing I heard last night. One of the people on the right, he said that, uh, he said if you look at Barack Obama, he's never hid the fact that he did any of that. Never. He never denied he didn't do it. He even tells people he was proud of what he did. And he said that if anybody would have looked, but they never even listened to him. They just ignored what he was saying. Well, and then my guess is somebody probably said something and then they just buried it. Well, you know, like I said, until this man became president of the United States, they don't think he ever lied to anybody. Isn't that something? They think he always was. He was very straightforward. <laughs> You know, with everything he did, then he became president and he became a politician, which he, which killed it. Well, didn't we have a, a reverend that told us that he would do that? Yeah, the re yeah, <laughs> reverend exactly told him he was going to go, he was, he was going he was going to go to his head <laughs> and he was going to become a politician and not a leader. So. And Zimmerman flip-flopped on view of the police. Oh God, I mean, this getting to be such a ridiculous thing now. I mean, I heard Rihaldo Rivera last night, who basically is an advocate for justice and stuff, saying that uh, they're bringing up stuff that has no relevance whatsoever, trying to destroy their own case, mm -hmm. because they're trying to poison a, uh, um, a jury, so that the jury, so what they can do is to hand it off to the feds, and then the feds can make a spectacle of it, and, and since the jury pool mm -hmm. is, is spoiled, they can't try him, but they can basically keep Zimmerman in the eyes of the news media which basically doesn't work because any time that you look at Zimmerman, you see he's just as dark-skinned as the kid. So, and he's also a Hispanic. I mean, they cannot understand. There, anybody remember the Spanish Inquisition? They were exterminating mm -hmm. Jews. And he's mm -hmm. named Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. And 14-year-old Texan wins the National Geographic Bee. That's awfully old. Generally, they're much younger when they won. When those oh, spots. are they? Yeah, they, because a 14-year-old getting ready to be like a, a sophomore in high school now, that generally is in, in middle school or grade school when they win these competitions. So if they're having to go higher. And former high school football star exonerated in rape case. Oh, yeah. He spent five years in jail because uh, they... Um, what happened was the people didn't do their didn't do their job. And here's how the guy found out about it. The woman t t uh, basically uh, t uh, li liked him on Facebook and told him she didn't have anything against him. She was told that she had to do this by the authorities. What? Yeah, uh, and she was afraid that if she came out and told the truth, that they were going to put her in jail and take the million and a half dollars away she got from the school. Basically, he, his football career was destroyed, his college was destroyed, he spent five years in jail because of, uh, they falsified a case, which means um, a lot oh, of people are bad. going to go to jail over this one. 
a lot That's of them. That's really were, yeah. bad. Yeah, really bad because there was never any case, nothing. She just lied about everything that went on because she said, well, her parents told her to tell them that because they didn't want her reputation to be ruined. And then when she told the police department, her parents had told her to say this, and they said, don't change your mind because he's getting what he deserves. Ooh. Yeah. He's getting what he deserves. Those officers. Now this will be interesting to see what happens because she told them. Yeah, they knew. <laughs> they knew she wasn't telling the truth. They, but they told her just to keep saying it because they'd already. Well, did well, she have to go on the jury stand? Yeah, she perjured herself on the yeah. stand, and all of the people that were involved in the case committed perjury. All of them. They're all. The, um, basically, you can see a lot of them going. You know, it's like uh, we do mm -hmm. know a famous person, O.J. Simpson crowd lives on the Canadian border. So anytime they come to serve him with a notice, he steps on the back of his property in Canada where he can't be serving an arrest nowhere. He might as well just live in Canada. Yeah. Well, because yeah. he doesn't want to live in Canada because it, uh, he, he wants to live in the United States, but his crop, but all he has to do is go to the back of his house, which is in Canada, and basically says, you can't serve me because I'm in Can a foreign country and mm -hmm. Canadian. And if the Canadians come, guess what happens? He goes to the other side. That's right. And former Israeli Prime Minister, Jerusalem must be partitioned? I know, he's basically what? Obama sucker. He basically, he lost his job, and he basically, well, you know, in order to bring peace to Israel, we must give the Palestinians Jerusalem, which is never going to happen, folks. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's how it works. It's been a Jewish capital, it's been a Muslim capital, Jewish capital, Muslim capital. At the moment, they're the winners in the war, so it's back to being a Jewish capital. And unless they lose it by war, you think that if the United States tries to force them to give Jerusalem over, they won't be really unhappy. Mm. And airlines make less on checked bags last year. Because yeah, because people have to pay for them. People aren't bringing bags now, which is not what they thought would happen. They're doing what we would do when we go on trips because we would simply just take what we needed in the carry-ons and then we'd go to where we were at and buy new clothes and a new bag. We always came back with a huge travel bag with us because you're only paying fees one direction. They were charging for bags 50 years ago. They just stopped doing it because they couldn't get people to fly. Now people aren't bringing the bags, but they're charging you for even using toilets now. So soon you're going to have a, a coin thing in a toilet where you have to put oh, a coin that's in bad. it. Four inch iPhone screen is bigger, better? I have a four inch screen. Both that we've got. I know, I love my screen. The iPhone thing looks small. I know, we've got big screens. What's the big deal? And Wall Street week ahead. Market is oversold, but major signs say sell. Yeah, yeah. they said that uh, the biggest news being the Obama administration has been cooking the books every direction. Like nobody, including the people on the left, believe that consumer sentiment is the highest it's been in a decade. Not since Clinton was president has the consumer. They think that we're on the right track. No, they don't. You can't find anybody that says this economy is rolling because the feds have even said we're looking at a half percent growth in 2013. A half percent for a whole year. That's called a de depression, folks. And Italy quake destroys 250 million euros worth of cheese. Oh, God. I mean, the building fell on its aged cheese. Oh, no. I mean... You would have thought that they, if it's an earthquake zone, they would have better protected it. But a lot, what happens is, the, I mean, if you've ever been to Italy and you want to go see the cheese thing, they're basically in structures that look like if you, if you were to make a loud noise, they're going to collapse. I remember my family, my my little sisters, they didn't want to go into the cheese uh, in the thing because, mommy, it, it looks like our outhouse. Mm -hmm. we, we did have outhouses, and I, I grew up by outhouses in Los Angeles, you can believe that. And they said it was really rickety. They go, no, it's perfectly safe. We've been using this for 500 years. Yeah. Yeah, it's about ready to fall and, down. And, and one of the and the biggest of the ones fell. They lost for the lack of a structure. They lost 250 million. And you don't insure that either. They just lost it, which means they're out of business permanently. And pollution hunting robot fish take to the sea. Reuters. Yeah, I love that. That uh, basically the Democrats are trying to find pollution everywhere now. It's basically the Obama administration funded that one too. And Indian passenger train rams freight train and 15 die. Yeah, because I wouldn't ride a train in India. I've been in India, so you don't ride their trains. People ride on the top of them in India. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, if you never start the project, you certainly can never finish it. 